Okay, so how to deal with pneumothorax in the ICU? So firstly, you need to see which type of pneumothorax it is, primary, secondary or erythrogenic. Primary or spontaneous pneumothorax usually happens in a healthy lung. Secondary happens because of certain disease like ARDS and pneumonia and erythrogenic can happen in healthy and healthy lung due to any procedure like central line or pleural fluid aspiration like that. Now it is important to classify because the healthy lungs uh, gives you time and heals very fast while the secondary pneumothorax does not heal very fa fast and takes time. Secondly quantify the size of pneumothorax. So for that what you do in a chest x-ray at the higher level from the outer margin of chest see where is the inner margin of the lung if it is less than 2 centimeter and the patient is asymptomatic you can watch and give high flow oxygen if it is le uh, less than 2 centimeter but the patient is mildly asymptomatic needle aspiration you can do if the any size is there and the patient is having symptomatic icd insertion should be done so do read more about